Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Today, we are gonna continue our football unit. All right, we're gonna practice some route running and catching and then practice uh, some flag pulling or more avoiding your flags from being pulled. So for today's activity, the most important thing you're gonna need is a partner. So find mom, dad, brother, sister, someone at home to play with, all right? They will be the quarterback, you'll be the receiver, run the route, try and catch the ball. You guys can switch and you can be the quarterback and throw it to them. And then they'll help um, with the flag pulling activity. They'll try to pull your flags and you'll avoid your flags getting pulled. Okay, so let's get started. I trust everyone was warmed up and everyone has stretched. So let's jump into our route running activities. What you're gonna need, obviously, is your football. If you don't have a football, Try to find a small ball or an empty water bottle, a teddy bear, something that you can throw and catch. You're also going to need a cone or a marker, um, a piece of paper taped onto the wall, just something to run to so you can turn around and catch. So I am using my empty water bottle here. That's going to be the only one that we're going to use in this activity. We're just going to run to one item to one spot, turn around and catch the ball. So I want you guys to line up next to your partner. Your partner is gonna say, ready, set, hike. You're gonna to run to your cone, turn around, your partner is gonna throw you the ball and you're gonna catch. So look at the ball with both eyes, have your hands out and catch the ball. Again, your partner will say, ready, set, hike. You're gonna to run to the spot, you're gonna turn around and catch. All right, friends, if you don't have someone at home to play with, like I don't, just stand where your partner would be. Um, you can say, ready, sit, hike, practice your route running, run to that spot, and then throw your ball up in the air and catch it by yourself, just like I've been doing. Okay, friends, I want you to pause the video and practice your route running and catching for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job route running and catching my friends. You guys did fantastic. This time we're gonna add more spots uh, or more cones or empty water bottles to run to. So you're gonna run to more than just one this time. So let me put my football down. I'm gonna grab my other empty water bottles, two, three, and four. I'm gonna spread them out around the room. I have one over here. I'm gonna put number two right here. I'm gonna put number three right here and four way back here. Okay, again, you're gonna line up next to your partner. Your partner will be the quarterback. He will say, well, you guys will come up with a predetermined pattern to run. So for example, I'm gonna to run to number one and then number two. Okay, so my quarterback, my partner would say, hi, I'm gonna to run to number one and then go to number two and catch. All right, so when you get to the predetermined um, cone or spot, turn around and catch the ball. One more time, this time I'll go to number three and then number four, way over there. So number three, four, the quarterback will throw it and I will catch it, okay? You can add more than just two. You can go to three cones or all four cones, or if you're at home, run from um, the wall where you're gonna throw, where your quarterback's gonna throw it to you, you can run to the table and then to the couch and then to a chair and catch the ball. So there's multiple ways um, that you can do this, multiple objects that you can use as your spots or as your cones. Be creative at home, have fun with your partner. Let's pause the video and practice your route running and catching again for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. Great route running and catching, my friends. All right, next, we're gonna practice being the offensive player and practice our agility skills. And um, we're gonna have your partner be the defensive player and try to pull your flags. So if you have football flags at home, you can use those now, that would be great. Most of us don't have football flags. I don't even have football flags. So what I'm gonna use is two long socks. So two long socks, 
I'm gonna put one sock in each pocket, just like this, and then I have my flags. Your, par your partner will be on defense, they'll try to pull your flags, you're gonna try to avoid your flags from being uh, pulled. So you're gonna try to score a touchdown and get from one side of the room to the other without you getting your flags pulled, or one side of the yard to the other without getting your flags pulled. Remember, you're gonna want to um, try to juke them out. You're gonna do some twists. You can go fast, go slow, stop, go. Um, juke them out, go like that. You're gonna need to use your agility skills and try to get past them. So for example, I would be on one side of the room, here against the wall. My partner would be over here in the middle. I'm gonna to try to make it to that side of the room. Ready, set, hike. I'm gonna to try to go, spin around them, and get around without my flag being pulled. Again, if you're the defender, you're gonna to try to pull their flag. And if you pull their flag uh, before they make it to the other side of the room, the defender wins. If you make it across and don't get your flag pulled, then you win. All right, friends, pause the video and practice your flag pulling activity for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. Fantastic job with your flag pulling activity, friends. You guys are amazing. I know football is not the easiest sport to play through distance learning, but you guys are doing it and you guys are doing amazing. Partners, thank you so much for participating. We really appreciate your help. I hope everyone is healthy and safe and everyone is doing well. I look forward to seeing you guys really soon. So until then, have a great rest of the day. Bye everyone.